Whoo! All right. All the new items names. Uh, I've not really, I've not checked if the new items work. I uh, appreciate that, Gaming. I would think it does. Um. Copper rod. Let's should we just find out? Uh yeah, it does. It does. Uh what is Satisfactory Plus? Satisfactory Plus is an overhaul mod uh for the game, which adds loads of new milestones. It overhauls the game entirely. Like changes the whole recipes. Makes the game harder. Uh, makes it just in general 10 times bigger than the original uh, vanilla game. Uh, appreciate it, Harm. Thank you so much, man. A quick little sneeze. So, yesterday we finished basically the first video, right? Which will go out on YouTube. So we have this down here, which is all the iron, right? So we have the two miners coming in. The ore goes into these crushers. The ore uh, then gets crushed and goes into these, which then goes into, sm uh, into the smelters, where it then makes uh, iron ingots. The iron ingots then go into the constructors, where it makes plates here. The plates here then go into uh, iron plates, uh, iron sheets, sorry. Uh, then we've got plates that come out here. We've got these two, which are making rods. We have these, uh, this one down here, which makes screws. And then this one down here makes iron wire. And then they all get stored into this section. So this is the iron floor. Uh, also, the, the um, miners um, crush, uh, when, the, when it goes into the crusher, it sends out a byproduct of stone. The stone goes into the constructor, which makes concrete. Uh, and that's like that for every single ore right now. Uh, so we have a byproduct of stone coming out of the miners. Uh, this is the copper floor where we're making basically concrete, as again, byproducts of the crushes. Wire, uh, cable, wire, uh, sheets, and copper rods. So that's the copper, and then the top floor is um, the rubite being processed, which makes tin. So we have tin wire, tin rods, tin plates, tin sheets, and again, a byproduct, which is concrete. Um, and that all goes into these storages. And that's what this whole floor is. So this is basically the, the starter factory. Um, and that's where we kind of got up to. Um, so now we're kind of working towards, well, getting some of these to um, merge together. So we'll be heading towards assemblers. So we can start putting some tin with some iron or some copper with some tin or copper with iron. Start making more advanced products. We also want to look into um, power production, uh, into refined power and stuff. Um so we want to do that. We also want to look into getting maybe a little bit of design going because right now we don't have any form of design. We can't, if we, like, if I quickly just fly down here, I won't be flying in a minute. Uh, but if we look at the milestones, we do have glass to possibly look at. Improved manufacturing is what we're going to hit today. Uh, we do need to make lead plates and for us to hit lead plates, uh, we need to look into like the ore sorting as well. Uh, which make crushed tin, tin ingots, um, lead ingots, and lead plates. So we need to look into lead today. Improved manufacturing. Glass walls. And then we can start looking at tier 2 stuff, right? So we got the blueprints. Uh, we have better biomass energy, which then unlocks biological water. Fluid conditioner, turbine mark 1. Generators, biomass heaters, boilers, copper pipes. Uh, and satmonium ore. Um, and then start looking into alloys, which creates bronze uh, items from found uh, from foundries. So, uh, yeah, the space between floor. Yes, yeah. 
I've made that there now, so it's ready, but I need uh, the rewards. So we need, I need to unlock this section to unlock the awesome shop. And I can't do that right now because we need copper pipes. We also need modular frames. We need tin sheets and we also need uh, zinc plates before I can even get the awesome shop to unlock the floor holes for the elevators, the lifts. And uh, not so quick, Ben. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Uh, appreciate the follow as well. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, yeah, but this, that's what they, the space between the floors is just for that. Um, so right now, uh, we are going to unlock the sorting. Um, I've not even looked at Blade Runners yet. More inventory sorts, plus 10. Mycelia. A weaver? The weaver can transform simple materials into something beautiful. Attention, keep your fingers out of the way, otherwise you'll turn into Swiss cheese. <laughs> Submonium. Hmm. Submonium ore. Crush submonium, crush stone, crush submonium. So we actually unlock this in part of the uh, one of the milestones as well. What mod is this? This is Satisfactory Plus. It's an overhaul mod. Um, let me get my uh, document up because we're going to be working on um, part two now, right? Um, so we'll go with this will be ba 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 zero zero two zero zero one. Yeah. So let's just save zero zero two zero zero one. Save that. Uh, okay, so we could look into glass walls straight away and look at just getting some crushed stone. We have the plates. Uh, have we got crushed stone? I'm just wondering if we have any crushed stone just backlogged. I know we don't have any being stored manually, but I'm just wondering if we have any. I don't think we do. It's all been sent out of here, right? And this has slowed down now and stopped producing because the crushed star, right? So the crushed stone right now is backlogged because of that. And we can't do anything about it because we don't have awesome sinks because we don't have that right now. Um, let's have a look upstairs. Uh, yeah, this is a satisfactory plus mod. I, I did a video on it, like, at the start of last year. Uh, now we're just kind of trying it out. Uh, it's like an official little mini mini, mini playthrough. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's an overhaul mod for the game. Okay, so yeah, we don't have... We can't get any crushed stone right now. Unless I was to put it down. Up here, we're not going to be able to get any as well. Unless I wasn't to make any concrete. I guess what I could do just for the time being... So I could just remove this and allow the crush stone to push through here. Because we don't have uh, sinks yet to sink stuff. 
That's overflowing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's remove this. And let's just put you th straight through there. We'll get the crushed stone to go into here where the concrete is. We, we only need a thousand just to... Um, unlock sand and the crushed on we're coming through like uh, maybe around 50 per minute maybe not even that 40 per minute 40 per minute on each of these 40 per minute 10 20 30 minutes until that's full irl time so 30 minutes from now We'll just go about quarter to. Um, okay. So if we can't do that just yet, what else can we do? Improve manufacturing. We can't do that because we need lead. So if we go to oil sorting, we can do that. Bam, bam, bam. Oil sorting. Um... Unlocked ore sorting. Oh my god, I can't even type today. Um, removed. Uh, a concrete. On top floor. Uh, stone. Uh, for glass unlock. Uh, okay. So now we've got that. We've now got the sorter. This building can split ores into component parts and thus extract different ores. It can also enrich ores or soil components. Uh, we can't make reinforced plates yet because we need the assembler. So we need to kind of handcraft re reinforced plates right now. What do I need for reinforced plates? I'll make 77. I'll make a handful. With so many raw materials, it would be impossible to build large factories now. Um, not really, no, because there's multiple ways. Like, not everybody uses all the ores, but you can naturally change the ores to deliver different things other than crushed items. So you can still do large factories and use biome specifics, basically, uh, locations just to uh, build said items. Um, but you could mass produce. You can still mass produce and do large factories for sure. Technically, they'll, they'll be even bigger because um, with the way the miners work and sending out an item and a, uh, technically you're getting like double limestone. And because there's more ores, it all de it all depends on the location of them, right? Um, I need some tin sheets. We should be good. Um, so sorters. Let's have a look at these. So it's got three outputs. It's got three outputs, which are all solids, and three inputs. One liquid and two solids. Cool looking machine. Uh, sorted rubite. So you put 120 crushed rubite into here, and you're going to make 90 crushed tin... 60 crushed lead and 20 crushed stone. 
in this machine. Holy moly. Holy moly, holy moly. Let me just work that out real quick. Let's just head up to the tin layer real quick because I th feel like this is going to give me a more. So if I was to bring 120 ore in, how much are you giving me out right now? So we have 120 ore coming along here, which comes into the crusher, which gives me 60 there which is crushed through bite. It's also going to give me 60 in that one. So that's 120. We can then put it into a sorter. You're you're going into you're giving me 120 crushed through bite. That's going to give me crushed tin. Crushed lead at 90 per minute, 60 per minute, and crushed on at 20 per minute. The problem with this is obviously you want them all moving, right? To keep things efficient. And uh, we definitely need resources hey, sinks with these. Hey, Professor. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. So 90 crush team, 60 in that for 120. This is going to need a factory in itself. It's on little location. And there's only one item we can really use in here as well. Crushed metal that can be mined from various ores clusters. Used to create ingots or liquid metals. It can also be cleaned with machines to extract more metal from them. Byproducts. Crushed metal that can be mined from various ore clusters. Used to create ingots and liquid metals. It's the same thing written there, right? This is exactly the same thing written there twice. That's pretty useful. Okay. Uh, put any images you've got in the uh, Discord, Professor, you know. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, hello. Hold on. Where's the closest Rubaiite then from here? You're an impure, right? You're an impure. We need we need a 120 line to bring in to make the 120 input as one factory. Hey bit. Uh hey Archmate, hello. <coughs> So we need to go elsewhere. I can't jump down here now. We need a rubite. So they rubite placed uh, all the limestone. Replaced all the limestone stuff. So limestone, limestone. Look. Quite a few over there. I can't remember if the limestone outside of the oasis over here is um, pure or not. I'm pretty sure it's normal. Look at mod as I use a fix it information tool. Yeah, I don't want to use any other mods other than this because I, I will when I do a modded playthrough. Um.
I already collected them. They've respawned. Mm -mm. Oh, it's one of them containers again. Uh, okay, you're impure and you're impure. Uh, you're normal. Okay, for me to get this sword to factory up and running, then we need to get these and combine with these, or get this one and combine it with the ones over here. Hey, bitch. Uh, hey, Phil. Hello. The tin layer with the new machine. Technically, yeah, Cinnamil, yeah. So we could remove that whole top layer if I wanted to. We could, it'll, it will mean we'll be using 90 crushed ore instead. So it's more than likely what I could be looking at doing is removing that, combining the crushed ore from both the crushers into the sorter. It will then output 90. That 90 will then go into the smelters. Uh, it just means we will be making less tin products, which I'm okay with because we're making a little bit more than we're actually consuming, especially when it comes to the wire. Um, we don't have underclocking or overclocking yet, so I can't really um, underclock any of the machines to make sure I've got s some buildup of another item that I, you know, and then we're still going to be making the lead and stuff, right? So we could turn the top floor into uh, the sorting. Boop. Boop. <sighs> There's a normal. Okay, let's go and do that. Let's go and change that top floor. I need to. I mean, I need to go and bloody make this a little bit more better looking than what it is. Fresh start. We're playing um, Satisfactory Plus uh, to stay. Satisfactory Plus mod. Which is an overhaul mod for Satisfactory. Which changes the game forever. come down to me deleting this whole top layer isn't it Boop. let me just double check what we're making here because we're making the sheets one-to-one -one, making the plates which is a one-to-one -one with the smelter we've got these rods here both of these are going into here so technically if i was to remove this smelter over here which is consuming 30 rubite that will leave 90 rubite for all of this which means these won't be here, these constructors, which means I won't be making this tin. But because I've got two rods being made here, and each of these... To make 30 wire, we need them. So we can put it into here and remove these two, and we'll still be fine then. We can keep this here. Uh, it's just organizing all of this will now be a little different. So I feel like, let's remove this all of these top machines here. Uh, and start where we uh, just was. We are going to be losing uh, concrete, though. Concrete production. Because this is outputting 20, right? No, we're going to be getting more, actually. Because this is going to be 20. That's going to give us 20. This 60 and this 60 are going to merge. This 20 and this 20 of the stone is going to merge. The sorter gives us 
20 crushed stone, right? So that would give us 60, which means if I was to put down a constructor, the concrete does require 60 crushed stone, so we could load balance that. So that will give us crushed stone, that will give us crushed stone. The sorter will give us crushed stone, so that would be 60, 20, 20, 20. It will then give us 90 um, crushed rubite, which will go into three smelters. This smelter will get removed with these constructors. These constructors will stay the same, except this line won't merge with this one. This line will go into another constructor to make wire. So we'll do that. And then once we've done that, we can then look into the production line of uh, crushed lead, which is going to give us 60 per minute for this whole entire line of 120. So then if we look at a constructor, um, lead plates, so 30 lead ingots. So if we go into, we're going to need a smelter to see the ratios. It's probably going to, it's going to be a... 30 yeah but it's gonna give us 45 so technically we're gonna get 90 ingots which means we can use three of these so plates need is basically the same to uh, plate ratio so that's 30 and the only thing we need to make is lead plates because i'm gonna guess the other stuff is going to come into into there okay a three street it should be more than that phil when did you miss a stream right so let me pull What's going on with the uh, Steam interface here? Oh, there we go. There we go. Um. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, I'm not even using that. That's that's going all form of weird right now. <coughs> holiday weekend, I guess. Um, oh yeah, bank holiday weekend, isn't it? Okay, so we've done that. I've done that. Uh, we are going to move on to um, unacceptable. To you, into the you. Um. Okay, so we're going to remove this whole top floor. Basically, what we're going to do is so zero zero two zero zero two zero zero two zero zero two bam bam. We're just going to remove this whole entire floor <coughs> and change it up. Um, Wolf go gaming. Thank you so much. Why am I carrying around so much iron sheets? We don't need any ores. We don't need any crushed ores. Don't need any flowers. Don't need any AU. Don't need any coal. Don't need any ingots. 